subscribe now. EU debates. The situation has been very effectively described by the president, a hybrid risk from Russia using, uh, weaponizing uh, gas with inflation close to 10%, growth forecasts for GDP which are pointing downwards, and we know that there are a lot of concerns about the geopolitical and climatic uh, context. So more than ever, we need to maintain solidarity and unity in Europe. We must, mustn't leave anyone on the side of the road, and that applies to households, employees and businesses. So we need to prepare for a winter without Russian gas. That's what we're talking about. We are preparing for a winter without Russian gas, and we have to be prepared for that. We can focus our approach on uh, three key aspects, the three S's, substitution, solidarity, and sobriety. Uh, substitution, to start with. We need to do everything possible as of now to find alternative alternatives to Russian gas for electricity, for power generation, for heating, for industry. This starts with our efforts to diversify supply with everything that the president and Kadri have done to raise our supplies in the form of LNG or increasing pipeline, gas pipeline capacity, which will we hope will enable us to make up for about half of the Russian supplies. But substitution is not just replacing one source of gas with others, it is speeding up the transition from gas to other energy sources, uh, renewables, of course, and that is possible. We have uh, detailed plans which are set out in the communication being presented today, but there are other energy sources as well, if necessary. It's perfectly understandable. And as the Commissioner for the Internal Market, I would encourage the Member States to look at all possible energy sources uh, to get us through the winter, perhaps uh, the, the winter after that, as Franz Timmermans has said. So we can, for example, prolong the life of nuclear power plants, as Belgium has decided to do, or other nuclear power plants, uh, and uh, indeed uh, coal-powered um, plants. Uh, it's very important that energy producers uh, start working uh, to this uh, to this effect, and we have a graph in the communication showing um, the work that is underway on these various uh, the very various possible forms of substitution. Secondly, uh, solidarity to get us through this winter, we will need solidarity. This is where Europe can really prove its added value. For this solidarity to work, of course, each member state has to uh, assume its responsibilities. Those who want to receive Solidarity will have to show that they have put in all, all the necessary measures to reduce their demand for Russian gas. So these are the government, government, governance uh, elements which uh, are included in the draft regulation we adopted this morning. And then uh, in, on, when it comes to energy uh, savings, uh, there is one key point, and that is that we need to have clear guidelines uh, to help us face uh, this uh, this uh, contingency. We need to ensure to maintain the security of our supply chains. We need to ensure the supply of essential goods and services. We need to maintain our uh, productive capacity in working order. So we need to find ways of forms of substitution in all the member states to avoid closing down factories, maintain the integrity of the single market. And in conclusion, since the beginning of the war, at the request of the president, I have been in daily contact with industry ministers, with industrialists in all the member states, and as is the case with vaccines, I will continue to work uh, in the, on the ground to continue implementing the, this plan in uh, at industry in all the member states. Thank you very much, Commissioner.